Larry, I want to get your thoughts on how AI will help the advisory space because, and I ask this because ad advice is more personal, right? Um, and, and you need a lot more context and, and more data points. So how do you see this developing? Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, a few years back, when robo advisors first came onto the scene, uh, everybody was thinking, oh, how soon will robo advisors replace human advisors? You know, I think it's back then that we started thinking, you know, uh, uh, advising people to think about this from this the perspective what we now call AI plus HI, but back then we said in plus tech, right? So we think really uh, introducing AI and these uh, the tools into the space will, will help both the high end customers who need more hand holding from their advisors because the advisors can rely on the AI. Uh, instruments now to help a lot with on the investment side so they can focus more on hand holding. At the same time, uh, these technologies would actually also lower the cost for mm -hmm. those people who cannot be profitably served by private bankers or financial advisors. So you can actually provide the, the same type of service uh, through a uh, technology platform, right? It's robo advisors or, or similar platforms to people who cannot uh, pay, you know, afford to pay a lot for these service, but these is through these platforms you can provide a lot of the uh, the same advice to them, and this is uh, in particular I think helpful for the younger generation who may not have a lot of money to save, mm -hmm. but needs this advice, and we're also actually very comfortable with technology. That's going to be very um, fascinating to watch because, you know, I, I always joke, I said, you know, robo advice, I always call it robo investing um, uh, more yeah. so than, than advice. But yeah. are you seeing progress with, say, the, you know, the robo advisors actually being able to provide accurate advice? Are they working on that? Uh, I think in, in terms of providing, uh, you know, uh, portfolios, you know, with uh, asset location, et cetera, mm -hmm. that type of advice, I think that is uh, ongoing. Uh, many yes. investment firms have been providing that. And that in the, in, in the back it is not necessarily artificial intelligence, but some type of uh, uh, computer programs you know, okay, that provide nice. these uh, recommendations. But, you know, ChatGPT potentially can be used for that purpose as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we just need to be sure that uh, we continue to train it with the proper data, but also with the, uh, the, the particular firms, uh, you, know, you, you need to actually inject your policy, uh, your philosophy, and, and your recommendation, et cetera, into that chatbot. So it may not be ChatGPT, but a similar chatbot, they can be used to, uh, to provide the advice and, and uh, the, uh, the, this customer service to, mm -hmm. uh, to clients as well. Okay. Larry, I want to switch gears and, and talk about user uh, acceptance because, uh, you know, you see a lot of millennials and, and Gen um, Zs who are obviously more tech savvy. They're, they prefer, in fact, digital applications. So they're naturally going to jump all over this. What's your advice to them? Uh, well, I think that's great. You know, I think that you, you, you're comfortable with technology. You can get access to a lot of the advice at a lower cost. Uh, that's wonderful. Uh, but at the same time, uh, be careful uh, of what you're getting into. Right? Be, be understand uh, the limitation of these programs. You know, like you said, human advisors may be able to provide more context. Uh, they may provide be able to provide more hand holding. Uh, and if you ask ChatGPT for investment advice, uh, <laughs> that's also a, a uh, uh, something to watch out for uh, yeah. because uh, at this juncture, uh, we don't know how how reliable that is that advice is. So you may want to uh, you know, think twice and ask for uh, additional advice from other sources as well. Yeah, I, I'm so glad you raised that point because I see articles all the time about um, how ChatGPT is able to pick uh, stocks better than portfolio managers. Do you, do you buy that? Uh, I think ChatGPT for one, uh, you know, it's data only dates back to uh, September 2021. So that's a huge limitation, right? They, no invest, no professional investor uh, would invest based on information that's almost two years old. But, but even uh, for its uh, siblings and cousins that has access to more recent data, uh, it's uh, also important to understand uh, they are basically uh, developed as chatbots. And they're meant to have interactions with you. Uh, the large language model they're based on 
now has uh, a lot of knowledge of different subjects now. So they are uh, well-trained in terms of memorizing knowledge. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we also need to be aware uh, they are not actually at the point that they will give you accurate information all the yeah. time. So you need to be aware of uh, the risk. Thank you.